It's so good to see you. Lovely to see you too. And How congratulations, and we really well, congratulations on the tour of America. You've just, you conquered the United States. They really, they get you, don't they? They really, you really connect with the audience. Well, they seem to be very uh, friendly and accepting, yeah. you know, and you can really feel that when you go on stage. You can really feel the love they have for you. And it's, it's remarkable, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic because it's so difficult to be a success in America. You've got to work so, so hard. Mm -hmm. But it's just, there's just something about you that the audience is absolutely love. I mean, even on the front of your, your album, the new album, Hope, you're wearing a scarf that one of your fans gave you. Oh, a musical scarf, yeah. A the, gorgeous. The scarf, yeah. It's absolutely lovely. It must be great to get that feedback from them. You get a lot of feedback from them, yeah, and uh, it's good. I know it is. Yeah. It's really, really positive. Are you going to get any time off at all, Susan? What are you going to be up to at Christmas? I'll just spend it with my friends and family. Like everybody, know. of course. Like everybody, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. And home is still very much Scotland, isn't it? Although you're all over the world, you always go back to your, to your you house. You always return to your roots, because yeah. you have to. Of course you do, of course you do. And you're, you know, you have been so successful. Did you ever, ever in your wildest dreams imagine that this would happen to you? I thought I'd get laughed at and booed off the stage. Did you really? <laughs> Did you <laughs> honestly? You just... Honestly, yeah. Because it took real guts for you, that, that very, very first audition that you, that you did, which I think something like, I don't know how many millions have seen that, but it's a remarkable amount of people that have actually seen that. Mm -hmm. That took real courage to go up there, didn't it? Well, especially after your circumstances at home, which weren't very good at the time, yeah. looking at them here. But uh, I had to do something, so uh, I'd done auditions for TV before. I'd done X Factor before, mm -hmm. did an interview for them. Yep. And uh, I knew the company, and I knew they did a variety show called Britain's Got Talent, so I thought I'd ever got it. But why not? Why not? Why not? Absolutely. There's also another reason as well. Fancy Piers Morgan. <laughs> no, don't listen. Don't make him any more big-headed than he already is, Susan. Oh, he's nice. <laughs> he's nice. Se seriously, you fancy Piers Morgan? Well, yeah, maybe. I used to fancy him, I. Yeah, we'll, we'll never fight over men, you and I. We'll never fight over them. You can have the head. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Please, no. Are you no, getting no, them to no. hate? No, 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 no. Now, I'm always saying you're like my little sister, and a lot of people have said that, because we, we look quite alike, don't we? I think, think so. so. I do. I definitely da, 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 da. do. Lots of people have said that. Maybe we should do a sisters, you know, that song. Uh, one, two, three. Sisters, sisters. There were never such <laughs> devoted sisters. And we didn't even plan that. We didn't even plan that. It's fantastic. Absolutely it's brilliant. Some rehearsed. Anyway. So what, is the what are the plans for the future then? Just more of the same? I plan to, uh, to have a break, first of all. Of course, of course. Well, after that, you go on and you... You do a, another tour, maybe in Australia or something like that. Fantastic. Let's talk about that for that'd later be, on. That'd be great. You know, but yeah. you know what I'd love to do? What would you love to do? I would love to be a fairy in a pantomime. A fairy in a pantomime? You'd be brilliant. Well, it's better than the backside of a panther horse, isn't it? Well, exactly. I do, well, <laughs> but nobody would want you to be doing that. But you would be really good as a sort of fairy godmother in Cinderella. Well, I like, to be, the, like, I like to be the baddie. Would you? But like maybe in Snow White, the Wicked mm. Queen? But panto is something you'd like to do, yeah? I'd love to do that, yeah. Listen, they'd be banging you. They'd be desperate to have you I'm available panto. for pantomime. <laughs> no, you're making this Christmas tree. <laughs> you're probably not, because you're so, so busy. That's the trouble. Can you imagine me with a pair of wings? I can. <laughs> I think you'd look great. I'd have a couple of horns as well. <laughs> well, that's OK. I think you'd be very good in that. So panto is something. And what else? Is there anything else that you would dearly love to do? Oh, I don't know now. There's, there's supposed to be a film coming out later on, a project coming up. Good. On, on, yeah. on, on my life, so it lasted about five minutes. Maybe. Well, I remember, no, but remember the stage show was hugely successful. And that was I Dreamed a Dream, that was yeah, a musical. That yeah, that was brilliant. Sometimes Smith, yeah. you come on in the, the end of it, because Elaine portrayed you. I think I got a fright that sword in that big. Did you? I says, wait a minute, <laughs> hold on. She did <laughs> it beautifully, though, she did it really well. So, look, we might see you in Panto at some stage. We wish you all the best with the album. It's called Hope. Uh -huh. It's got some beautiful, beautiful songs in there. And you're going to be performing for us, Angel. 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 I That's one of my favourites, actually. I look it's forward really to that, Susan. Great to see you. Lovely to see you, Great too. Great to see you. Thank you so, so much.